Hello everybody and welcome back to Low Bricks. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Republic Fighter Tank, which is a spring of 2022 release and it retailed for $39.99 United States dollars. You know, it's a pretty cool set. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, take a look at those figures. A lot of those we haven't seen before. A lot of those don't even exist in the Star Wars universe in canon. Who knows? It's just craziness, all right? There's a lot of cool stuff in this set, a lot of stuff to go over, so let's just take a look. All right, first up is, well, the box. If we take a look here, we've got this kind of newer style of boxing, no more white greeble, as we saw in the past. Got this black stuff now, your, you know, all your warnings and such up here with a little bit of a figure there. The back of the box shows a battle scene with the tank, although they're not actually using the tank. Because, you know, they're going to take these guys out in style, fighting them uh, on the ground. They're, they're no cowards. They're not going to use the tank just for two little scouts. They're going to, you know, get out and fight them. But anyway, a cool little scene. Unfortunately, our box did come with these pull tabs, so we kind of had to rip it apart to get the set out. But anyway, speaking of those figures we can see on the front, let's take a look at those. All right, so here are your figures. You get two standard battle droids here. You get a Mace Windu, which is probably the nicest Mace Windu figure we've ever gotten. And then we get two of your standard 187th Legion Troopers, and then a, you know, a Commander Legion Trooper here, which is pretty cool. So definitely a great figure selection. Uh, and if you're, you know, getting this set, you probably are getting it for this figure selection. So let's take a look at each and every one of these fellas up close. All right, so first up, we've got your battle droid. And this is your standard battle droid we've seen for quite a while. I mean, they really haven't updated this guy in a while. And I mean, they don't have to. And by they haven't updated him in a while, I mean, they haven't updated him ever. His molds have definitely gotten better. If we take a look at the original 1999 battle droid, you can see that there is a center seam right down the middle of his head here. Where on this battle droid, in 2022, a whole 20 years later, that seam is not present. That might be a little hard to see. But the basic point is that they haven't updated him yet, and he's your standard battle droid, so no changes there. He does come with a gunmetal gray uh, blaster there instead of black, so that's a nice feature. But anyway, you get two of these in the set, your basic battle droid, a nice, you know, addition to your army of battle droids. But anyway, let's take a look at the next figure. All right, next up, we've got a pretty contentious figure here, causing a little bit of debate all around the Star Wars universe and the Lego Star Wars world is Mace Windu here. He is one of the best Mace Windu figures we've ever seen with amazing arm detail there, back detail and arm detailing on the side, different arms, different arm printing on both sides. And of course you got leg printing. He's very similar to the one you see in the Republic gunship set, the UCS one, of course. And that's why a lot of people are upset because this figure has more detail than the one you find in that set. And that set is significantly more expensive where this set only costs 40 bucks and you can get a better figure in this set. So a little frustrating there, but still an amazing figure that we see in this set and one definitely worth getting. And, you know, they really nailed it. So good job, Lego, on this figure. Let's move into the next one. All right, next up, we've got your 187th Troop Clone Commander. So that's what we see here. A very, very cool figure here with the purple to match Mace Windu's lightsaber. You can see all sorts of detailing on his chest there. We've got no arm printing, but we do see some back printing there with some straps that, you know, are seen on the front. So a continuation there, nice to see. Got some nice leg printing and toe printing there. And then a helmet up top with these nice ventilations. We take off the hat. You can see we've got our new updated clone face, which is sweet and, you know, good to see. And then the helmet itself is sweet looking with those eyes. And then there's also some very nice small details there on the helmet itself. As you can see right there under the eyes, you've got those little two little squiggly lines, which 
do add a little bit to the helmet itself. And then you also got some ventilations right here. They're actually molded. So that's definitely cool to see. But anyway, let's move on to our next figure. All right, next up, we've got your 187th Legion Clone Trooper. So this is the Trooper version, not the Commander. You get two of these guys in the set. Nice to see by LEGO getting us some duplicates of these crazy, crazy Clone Troopers. We got more purple on this than we saw on the Commander. Got some purple toe printing, purple knee guards there. You also got some nice dark, uh, or not dark, it's kind of a light blue there with these tan or these lines right there. Some nice detailing. Got some straps up in there with the clone chest plate with some purple accents, of course, looking great. On the helmet, you can see more of these light blue details in there and then a lot of very intricate, small little details with the helmet itself. Lego definitely did some attention to detail on this figure and overall looks amazing. If we flip it around to the back, we've got another same story with the uh, commander. Got some nice printing on the back there with the strap, but no arm printing. But, you know, it is overall a sweet, sweet figure, and you do get two of them, so that is definitely great for army building. But anyway, since we've gone over the figures, let's take a look at the tank itself. All right, so now let's talk about the tank itself. You know, the minifigures are great, just like I just said. These are an amazing set of figures, and, you know, they're definitely going to go up in value. But the tank itself, there's some problems with it. Don't get me wrong, there are some nice things that with this tank, but there are some problems. So to start, let me just go over the things I do like about the tank. For starters, the base looks very nice with all of these stickers. I know a lot of people don't like the stickers, but I do. I think they added a lot to this tank, and the bottom end of this tank and the shape of it works very, very well. Another thing I want to add about this tank is that it rolls very well because of these wheels on the bottom here. You can really slide this thing around and have, you know, your tank-like action, you know, that sort of meme. It rolls very well. Another thing is that the detailing around here and over on the other side looks very well. But, you know, once you move up from the base and start looking more towards this area, things look a little less nice. Another One of the things I, I don't like is that this hatch right here doesn't close in very well whatsoever. But another hatch on this does work very well. Up top over here, that mesh right there is really good and I think looks phenomenal. Another thing that is nice about this set is this little door right here meshes up very well and I think the back end of it doesn't look too bad. And then the guns themselves, you know, they are fixed here really nice. But there are massive downsides. Like I just said, this little bulge up top doesn't fit in well, but that's not the most annoying part for me. The most annoying part for me is the way it looks. It it just, when you come down through here and then it rolls down into there, it doesn't look very good. It just feels weird and it makes the front of the tank just look odd. I don't know how to explain it without having the model in front of you, but this bump right here, it just makes the tank feel off entirely. I think it was definitely a cop-out to use the big piece here. I think they could have done a brick built thing that looked a little nicer than what we got going on here. And ours is a little broken because it keeps falling apart in attempt to try to mesh it in well, which surprise, surprise, you can never mesh this thing in well. I've tried for hours. There will always be a gap here. That's another thing. The fitment between this large piece right here and this part will never be good. You'll never get it in a spot where there isn't a gap. So that's unfortunate. Also, the, mat, the main part of this tank, the tower section, looks very plain and dull. And the reason I took the guns off is to just show you how plain and dull this thing is. There's just these two big slanted pieces and flat on every angle of this. There's no detail whatsoever. They added in a little bit of detailing up front here, which I like, but as far as the sides go, I wanna see a little bit more build up there. I mean, it's just disappointing to see, you know, with a with a tank like this, I'd, I'd like it to look very nice. 
And then the guns themselves are a little lackluster, but I think they do look good overall. But you know, the tank just leaves a lot to be desired, like I said. It just, everything about it is weird, in my opinion, and I think that's because of the way this section looks. And that kind of throws off the good parts of it, like I said, the bottom. So everything about it just feels off, and that's disappointing. But, you know, the set itself is great because of these figures. So that's just kind of where you're stuck with, is the tank... I mean, it looks like a tank, the stickers are nice, but it just feels off and feels weird and doesn't really fit in well, at least in my opinion, with a battle. But the figures themselves, you know, they're sweet. So you kind of have that balancing point there where it's a little frustrating for sure. But overall, my opinions of this set are, you know, there it's a good set because these figures, you just can't pass them up. I mean, come on guys, look at them. Just look at them, take a look. Just, just, wow. All right, so that's going to conclude my review of the 2022 LEGO Star Wars Republic Fighter Tank. You know, overall, it's a good set, in my opinion, just because these figures just knock it out of the park, even though the build leaves a little bit to desired. There are good parts of the build, don't get me wrong, but overall, you know, there is some stuff that needs to be improved, at least in my opinion, before they released it, especially the sides of the tank. But I think it still looks good, especially with some of the other sets from the Clone Wars that they're going to be releasing and some of the sets they already have released. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. I know my reviewing skills aren't the greatest in the world, but they're getting better. That's all that matters. If you want to see more videos like this, we've got some more reviews coming out of some new LEGO Star Wars sets that are on the market, like the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter and the LEGO Star Wars helmet sets. So check those out. Those are going to be out soon. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.